I've been very lucky and very fortunate in having the success I've already had. So I know the good times you can get from it. So that keeps me going. That I, that's what I want. To, I've, I've had the downs as well. So obviously the good times are a lot better than the downs. So you love playing the game and I've been very lucky to have a great team, a great management to keep me going as well, that keep me motivated as well. The records are there to be broken, I suppose, what you say, but I am not really too concerned about them. I just try and do what I love doing. I said earlier on this evening that I love playing the game and being involved and uh, whatever happens after that is, is a bonus, I think, and uh, all these nights are definitely a big bonus for myself. Nothing will top that. Um, it's been a fantastic year um, for, I suppose, the whole, the whole county of Donegal. Um, personally, myself, to get my all Ireland medal this year, um, to get an All Star tonight, and then to be named Player of the Year, it's you know it's, that's what dreams are made of, and you know it's a, it's a fantastic achievement for myself. I'm delighted. Colin McFadden and Frank McGlynn there, you know, you, them boys deserve it as every, every every bit as I did, and you know they've they've had a great year as well, and you always you know feel for them boys, but you know it has to be a winner, and I suppose my name is mentioned there tonight, and you know it's it's great, and I, I know my mum and dad will be proud, and you know two sisters there and a brother and. It's great to take it back to my club as well for Masters, Donegal Town and you know, I suppose that's where you grow up and you play your underage football and that's where you learn and that's where I've learned it all and you know, I look forward to get back and seeing my club mates and all now tomorrow again. Once the sweat and toil of uh, the championship season is over, it's always nice to look forward to the potential of winning an All-Star. Not everyone does and uh, some years it passes you by, others are, but when it comes around to you, uh, you really do cherish. It's a real celebration of um, all that's good in the game. It's uh, great to see so many top players here receive their accolades for uh, a season that was uh, tremendous and it's passing. Tonight's a great night because here we're celebrating players. I, I state constantly that our entire programme of work is geared to great situations where we make great players. And uh, on a night like this, when you celebrate the very best of the players on, on display, the most skillful players, I think that's a great night for the GA. In the last um, seven or eight years, we've been involved with the GPA and uh, the last two years with the GEA. And it's great to, to bring the, uh, the GEA and the GPA awards together. It's a great night for everybody and uh, a you know, real celebration of the year. It's a good achievement for myself, really. I know I, I, when we started out at the start of the year, we had a lot of young lads and we had good leadership in the panel, so I'm just glad to accept it on behalf of the panel, really. You know, who would have known, really, that we would have been in the All-Ireland final and, you know, we just came up short in the end, really. The buzz around the county was phenomenal, really, like, and it's just a great honour to be out there in September playing for Galway, like. It's, it's nice recognition for, um, for the hard work we put in all year and, I suppose, you know, it's always um, an All-Ireland medal um, that, that we're striving to achieve and, uh, you know, unfortunately it didn't happen this year, but I suppose, listen, we, we've laid the foundations that we can continue on. This year, I suppose, we surprised a lot of people with, with, with the style of football we played and, um, you know, we're hoping to, to, to improve and definitely um, build on what, what we've done.